we all want to go to Australia because mum and dad are both not well at the moment. The problem that we've got um, is that I, even if I wanted to, even with the quarantine, I can't go um, because I'm been to a lot of people. I'm not sure anyone's ever wanted to know, but I'm not an Australian citizen. I'm a British citizen uh, and I've never been an Australian citizen. And I regret that now deeply because um, obviously you have to be an Aussie citizen to go to Australia. And even then, you have to quarantine for two weeks at a government designated place. Um, and I think there's parts of Australia where you can't even fly into. So it's really, really tough times now for us to be able to go and see our, our family. Yeah. Just tell us about your frustrations that are not being able to, to go over at the moment. Look, you know, I never want to come across that I'm moaning about anything. You know, there's lots of people that have gone through very similar situations where their parents lived literally down the road and they weren't allowed to see them for months. I understand that. And then in, in places like Victoria in Australia, uh, there's probably families that can't see each other because of their lockdown rules. Um, but I think where the frustration is for us is that never in our entire lives, wherever we were in the world, whenever mum and dad said, you need to get on a plane and you need to come home, we, we caught the next flight. It didn't matter what we were doing. Uh, we're a very, very close family. And I think the fact that we can't do that now, you know, they could ring, mum could ring and say, please come home. And I have to say to my 85 year old mum, I can't, I, I can't, you know, what, what excuse, you, there is no excuse in the world you could give your parents not to go, except for the fact that you're not allowed, you know. You, you was going to say you've had more experience of COVID than most people because your wife is a NHS doctor, isn't she? She is, and she always, when I go to praise her, she's like, she'll never take that praise. She'll always say, yeah, but there's, I think there's 1.5 million uh, doctor, people working for the NHS, I believe. And so she'll always say, but there's a million and a half other people that are doing this and are working harder. So she'll never take that praise. But yeah, she is on the front line. And every time she comes home, we have this conversation even today where some people may have moved on a little bit from the lockdown we still have the same conversation. She's either been in the hot zone at the hospital or the cold zone. If she's in the hot zone, it means she's been with COVID patients, so we can't go near her until she's disinfected herself, put all the clothes in the wash. Um, that's, that's tough. So the minute she comes home or she's calling me saying I'm five minutes away, the first question is hot zone or cold zone. And uh, I know it sounds random, and if someone heard us talking, they're like, what are you guys talking about? But, but this is a genuine, a genuine situation, and it's very clean, I promise. Your work has been disrupted as well, hasn't it? You were supposed to be in Greece, the musical. It's been uh, rescheduled. I mean, Greece isn't the word at the moment, is it? It is. It was, I was due to be on stage now, but uh, it is rescheduled for next year where I play three different characters, which I'm really excited about. But again, it's not just the people that are performing... Um, that are suffering in the entertainment industry. It's far more than that. It's the lighting, the crew, the people that own the theatres, the people that do makeup. I mean, it's costumes. So it's the whole industry is on its knees. So I'm really hoping for everybody that it gets back to, to where it was. Um, and it's, it's going to be tough because people are scared to go out. They're not as willing to just go and sit next to somebody. You know, somebody coughs now and all of a sudden you're like, you, you, you know, you're trying to cover yourself. Whereas before we used to just, people would cough all the time, you wouldn't think it. So there is going to be a change in the way people feel about being around people. It's a shame. But then on the other side, I guess we're, we're learning to, to look after ourselves a little bit better. Thanks to Peter Andre, they're going to be back touring across the UK and Ireland with the musical Greece next year.